is Sunday evening. Um, as you can see, the sun's setting. I'm actually at Fresh Time again. Um, it's kind of been my safe space. Um, I don't know why that is. Like, it's just so soothing, relaxing. I don't need to explain myself, but I am because I also enjoy learning about myself. Hey, so it is editing Susanna. So from the day that I'm posting this video, um, I want to say I'm sorry I missed a week last week. I was working really, really hard on that video that I put out. Um, and that is the first time I've ever done a video like that, so it was a big learning curve for me, super different kind of project, and it just wasn't, it didn't make sense for me to keep editing videos on top of that, because gotta stay momentum has to be good for the rest of the semester. So, here I am putting it out again, um, I will be catching right back up on the videos, might see a midweek upload to get kind of back to a normal schedule. Um, I have about three weeks worth of editing to do, putting things together. Um, just, I think I've been recording less, so videos will be a little bit shorter, but uh, yeah, catch you guys, watch the videos, enjoy them if you like. Catch you guys later. <sighs> guys, today took a sudden left turn. Um, I was just kind of sleepy before, sleepy from all the craziness yesterday of being out and with people and spending so much time with friends, um, but now I'm sad, might be the best word, I don't know, a little angry, um, it's hard not for me to, for me not to be overwhelmingly angry when I think too long about, uh, hard things that are going on, um, with my family and life in general, um, and the world too, obviously, it's easy to fall into anger as a default to disappointments, because anger really is just hurt love, right? It really is just something that was expected and wasn't received, um, disappointment and, and anguish, really, like, it's from a place of pain, not of strength, and I don't really think that I'm better than anyone else, and I'm not going to pretend like I am, but it's just really, really hard when other people don't recognize the ways that they're um, they're wrong and, and hurtful nobody else can tell them that nobody else can just shake that into them because no one else could do that for me I had to reach that conclusion on my own uh, fortunately I do have people around me that are able to speak to me in that way and call me out on things when I need to be called out on them um, and I don't want to talk too much about it but I got a letter today from my mom and it's always hard, it's always hard, um, because she doesn't understand, right? And, and she might watch these, and I'm not going to talk too much about it, except for, it's always hard. And I always find myself struggling for words when it comes to that. I had a good conversation with a roommate about it, and my sister, and another roommate, and <laughs> surprise, I talked to my roommates. Um, <laughs> And I'm probably going to talk to my friends more about it. It's been a couple weeks since I got a letter, so I was kind of hoping that... Well, I think I was secretly expecting one a little sooner, but... Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it, except I'm really glad that I'm here. And I'm going to get groceries to take care of myself and prepare for the week. Um, so hopefully... I'll drive back home safe and find everything I need, um, but it's hard. It's a really hard season, and it's hard to try to explain that to someone who's hurting you or has hurt you in the past. I know I've come a long way, and I've grown a lot, and I'm much healthier about it than I have been before, and these vlogs are part of that, I will say. Being able to sit and talk about things for a minute is really nice. Um, and it's important, I think, to have some time when I'm just talking, not necessarily to myself, but without feedback, uh, to see what I actually think, you know, instead of what I want the person in front of me to think I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> I don't want to pretend like I have all the answers or that I'm not upset about the things that are going on. I am. Um, so, <sighs> yeah, that's just, uh... Yeah, that was probably a weird transition. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything is totally all good, and I'm going to go in the store, and I'm going to go get groceries, and I'm going to be even better after that. But yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to pretend that either. Um, but it's, it's a balance, right? It's a balance of talking to myself, hearing myself, being able to listen to myself again later, and 
being able to see it in a few years and be like, oh, that's how I felt. Like, yeah, that was a really rough season. Or, wow, I was really blind to this huge obstacle. Um, I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want to be drawn astray by one side or another. Extremes are never the right answer. My parents aren't evil, but they're also not perfect, and I'm not going to pretend either side. Um, I'm going to stand firm to my opinion, and I'm going to stand firm to what feels right for me. I'm not pretending that I'm right or not biased in some way, um, but I have to accept it as my own view, and that's a vulnerable thing to say. Like, I actually, I actually think this, you know? <laughs> I actually think you're wrong. <laughs> like... Being able to say that is vulnerable inherently, and it's even harder when that person takes it very, very hard. Um, so I'm not gonna, I, I've already probably talked too much about it. Um, and again, these are weekly vlogs now, so these are gonna be long. Um, but thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and uh, catch you guys later. It is Wednesday. Um, my capstone video is due tomorrow night, um, so I'm a little brain dead at the moment. But I've started using this wall in my dining room as like a mind map, uh, like not mind map, but uh, like a war wall, I guess is what they call them. So basically, I'm just putting everything that's in my head onto some paper. Um, these are some bags. I think I filmed some of that, but I I took all these bags that I was getting from grocery stores and I cut them all up so I have just paper that I can use for stuff. Um, so I've stuck these up on the walls. Uh, up there is, or where is it? Where did I put it? Um, it's somewhere in there is like story structure. I guess I took it down. Um, so I'm kind of working through how to tell these stories well. It's really hard to take um, research that I've been doing for the past two months at this point uh, and dilute it down into a five to seven minute video pitching a concept. Um, that is a highly complex concept. I'm talking about, you know, mycelium, I'm talking about sustainability, I'm talking about alternative materials and somehow making it into a compelling enough story that people can follow along without getting lost in the jargon. Because I am a jargon person, I will accidentally fall into that if I'm tired. I'll start rambling about the hyphae and like all the stuff that's happening. I don't even know if I said that right because I don't say it out loud, I've just been typing it. Um, so those like... <laughs> all these words and things that are like stuff I'm researching, which is great. I'm, I'm learning a lot, but at the same time, I have to be able to bring people along with me and tell the story in a way that is compelling and interesting. Um, so right now, I'm just kind of getting all my thoughts out there. I thought I'd vlog a little bit to let you guys know how it's going. Um, I will currently, so what I'm doing to think through the storyline right now is I actually have these little uh, cards printed that I got from a Skillshare class on storytelling. Um, so for example, this one is challenging situations. So for this one, I'm going to be talking about some of the conflicts in the story. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of storyboarding because with my comics background, I can't not storyboard. Uh, plus working at that, uh, being an intern at that video production company. So I have a really, really rough outline right now. Um, you can't really see too much of that. Sorry, I'm vlogging it with my phone, so there's not really anything super great here. As far as the outline itself is going to be pretty mediocre. Um, my mind tends to jump to a lot of things, so currently I'm trying to think about how to incorporate fairy circles, if that's possible. You know those little like rings of, of mushrooms that grow, and they say not to step in it because you'll start, like, it, it's just this weird fairy tale about it. So I'm trying to think through like incorporating that because that was something I read in a book as a kid, and we had a circle of mushrooms in my grandma's yard, actually, and I stepped in them anyway, because you're, you're not technically supposed to, but I was like, screw it, I want something to happen. Nothing happens, like, it's it's just a bunch of mushrooms, but um, I'm thinking through a way to tell that, incorporating that somehow into the story, even if it's in really subtle ways, like, hmm, can I, like, have a little circle of mushrooms somehow encapsulating, like, a, a number or something for the section? like. How can I subtly incorporate this? So it's not a main feature of the story, but it can still be an additional element that I've thought through and considered as far as the visual storytelling goes. So I'm thinking through multiple layers there, I guess. So you have the ground layer and then you have underneath where the mycelium is. And anyway, I'm, I'm 
being silly now because I'm you know it's, it's only 8 45 but it's been a really long week and a long couple of months but uh, hopefully I'll be able to put some of my thoughts together enough to make a cohesive story in the next 24 hours because it's due tomorrow night uh, I haven't been procrastinating I've just been focusing on being human as well as thinking through the stuff in the background and so I've got a lot of work it's just not all up here yet because I just started putting these things up so thinking through a lot but I'll be okay we're gonna be good I've told a lot of stories in my life some of them more successful than others I'm just putting too much pressure on this one to be honest I need to just lower my standards and just make what feels right make what comes naturally and stop trying so hard as they say as Charles Bukowski says, Charles Bukowski, um, don't work, don't try, it's there, staring right at you, aching to kick out of a closed womb. It's there, I just haven't found it yet. So, I'll catch you guys later, thanks for watching. So it's 12.15 on Friday afternoon, I guess now. Um, I ran out of coffee last week and I was gonna get some, but it felt weird to buy a box of coffee on a first date, so I didn't do that last weekend. But I did get some hair pull. Also, by the way, definitely told the guy wasn't interested. So, you know, another thing off my plate. Um, I haven't really been active on the dating apps lately, so there's like nobody else that I'm talking to. Sorry I look like super dead tired. Um, <laughs> the past couple days have been a bit of a sprint, especially yesterday. I actually woke up before 5. I think it was probably 4. 30 was when I first saw my watch, but I thought it was 5.30, so then I was like, oh shoot, I slept in past my alarm, and so then uh, ended up getting up just around 5 and starting doing things. Yesterday, I had so much energy for some reason, I don't even know what happened. Um, I folded all my laundry and put it away, I did all the dishes, cleaned my bathroom, all before 6 a.m., and, and by did all the dishes, I mean like there was an entire load of dishes. There was a full dishwasher that was clean. And so I re I unloaded the dishwasher, reloaded it, and then ran it by the time the morning was done. I did way too much. <laughs> I had so much energy. I went to the gym, and then I went and got myself a matcha latte at uh, Starbucks. Um, was that even yesterday? That's so weird. I It's been a very long couple of days. I don't know if you can tell them. Um, Parable is much better than Starbucks, but that's why I get the matcha lattes there, because they're the only thing that I think tastes okay. Um, Parable is still better for that too, Parable. Sorry, this isn't sponsored. I don't know why I'm talking about that. But I got myself a really nice cup, uh, box of coffee. Really, really good stuff. Um, it's better for like a siphon coffee maker if you can get something you know, more robust that can handle it, something that's not as delicate. Uh, I don't always use <laughs> uh, siphon coffee, but anyway, I'm rambling now. But uh, yesterday, so I got up at before five, and then I had a full day of school, and we we're working on our, um, what is it called? <laughs> case studies. So I reread the case study last night, or not last night, the night before last night, and I read all of it took a bunch of notes and so yesterday came and we met as a group and it was so fun to like be like hey did you guys notice this did you guys notice this and then we had like so much progress the professor came over and was like you guys are super ahead of everyone else so like chill out if you want it's a it's a very chill class it's like a business class um so nothing too crazy with that but we're I think we have a really interesting team and like very very intense group of people so <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be fun I think it's gonna be a little bit of a like, we, we, we got this, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're gonna kill it. Um, next Tuesday is that final presentation on that. We have a final paper and a final exam, but the paper shouldn't be too bad. I get to write about something that's interesting anyway. We're writing about innovators from um, uh, at least 100 years ago versus someone that's a little more recent. So there has to be a little space between them. It doesn't really matter how recent they are. Um, so that'll be, I think that'll be pretty easy, and then we have an exam where they literally are going to tell us all the answers in the study guide, so I'm not too worried about it. It's just about making sure that I sleep somewhere in there, because um, the, the day I got up at 5, I'd also stayed up to like 11 reading the case study. So I got a little bit of sleep, but not, not a ton. Um, <laughs> I keep having dreams about car accidents for some reason, which is like not a great way to live your life. 
Not what I would ask for, but still drove my car today. Still doing my life. It's great. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this on here, but I've been in two rollover accidents, so I only actually got my driver's license last year. I also totaled my sister's car once when I was still starting to learn how to drive. Dumb story, someone turned on a green light and I was just going straight, so they turned right in front of me and it was a T-bone, but it was like the slowest T-bone ever. Enough that it wrecked my sister's car, but not enough that it was like, you know, to do that. It, no one was, no one was going to be injured from that. So we're next, that's pretty much it, but I don't appreciate dreaming about car accidents lately because it's just made it harder to live my life and just show up and be calm and drive safe when I'm actually driving. So that's not great, but it's okay. Um, what else happened? Yeah, yesterday was just a very, very full day. Um, I met with this really cool guy named John, John McCabe. He is an employee at like IBM and it was just like the most encouraging phone call or video chat. Uh, way, way, way more encouraging than I was expecting. I was expecting kind of a not an interrogation, but kind of a, like, what are you trying to do with your life? Like, figure it all out. You gotta do this differently. And it was much more of, like, hey, you're great. You just need to tell people you're great better because you're not doing it great. Like, not that I was doing a bad job, but that I was kind of missing out on a lot of potential there. So really, really encouraging. And getting to see, like, oh, the vlog channel is doing really well, too. Like, as far as, like, the branding and the effort that I'm putting into it, like, that's really, really encouraging to hear, too. Because I do put a lot of effort into this. I just don't... <laughs> I don't have, like, the best advertising and marketing. And I don't edit that much, obviously. You guys know I'm putting out, like, 40-minute videos every other week. So, yeah. Uh, and then I spent seven hours... <laughs> seven hours editing um, an assignment, which to be fair should have probably been like two hours but I wanted to make it interesting and beautiful and good like my standards for myself really destroy me sometimes but that's okay I'm not doing it for grades I'm literally just doing it because I started having fun with it and then I like had to maintain the momentum like I was doing so good until around 8 p.m. and then 9 p.m. I started dying um, but I managed to finish it at around 11.30. <laughs> the assignment was due at midnight, so I got it in, um, turned it in, noticed a couple of audio mistakes, went back and edited, edited it, and then resubmitted it, so I ended up being late because the page took so long to upload. But I put seven hours into that, five minutes and 13 seconds of video content. I'm gonna be putting it on here just because I put so much work into it. But I also know that the music and the other audio probably will get copyright struck, so it's like, I'm never gonna monetize that video, you know what I mean? I'm not monetizing most of these anyway, I literally have 12 subscribers, so... <laughs> it's fun, it's really fun making this stuff, and I don't make it to get subscribers, I make it to have the fun of making it. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> full day of school, woke up, woke up early, um four hours before school so I had a four hours of working on pers like taking care of myself showering you know going to the gym and cleaning the house doing the laundry doing the dishes and then a full 9 till 3 30 of classes and then uh from 3 30 or 4 till 5 the meeting with John and then from 5 all the way up till 11 30 was video editing um yeah very very long day uh and so I woke up kind of feeling like crap today not not too bad I've definitely felt worse I'm used to feeling I'm not used to sometimes I wake up and I'm like dang I used to feel this terrible all the time I take so much better care of myself now than I used to um this was one of those days where I had a few minutes of that where I was like hmm my stomach really hurts like it used to when I was in high school and I would stay up till 4 a.m. working on my comics and stuff. Man, this does not feel fantastic. That's because I'm so used to like feeling great now because I take so good care of myself or so much better care of myself. Um, anyway, thanks for letting me talk about uh, how yesterday went. Uh, today, 
is going to be very chill compared to that. Um, overall, just gonna be gonna be taking care of uh, some other personal business of just you know making some nice food. Personal business, oh, groceries and not groceries, but like you know making food, taking care of myself. I'm just so sorry for that. My, I'm holding it up to my steering wheel and it's like sliding. Um, yeah, so really, really like chill day. My, I told my roommates, I was like, I'm planning on getting no school done today. My expectation is to get no school done. If it happens, great, but my plan is to rest. That is the plan. No plan B, rest. Um, if school happens, it happens, I won't complain, but my standards are low. So I'm always gonna be exceeding my own expectations. <laughs> on days like this, on days like this. Yesterday, I was just doing the most because I felt like it, but you know, that, that's me, but um, 